you hear me? Anyway, this is uh, some of the clips from the Walking with Jesus Africa. And uh, the reason I showed you this is uh, it's a cultural way of connecting people uh, to follow up. I think sometimes uh, when we make films, we neglect to think about what's our end game. What are we really trying to accomplish in terms of uh, sustainable kingdom movements? Uh, church growth, church planning, multiplication. And uh, I happened to work in Africa over a 14 year period and I saw that there was a lot of evangelism content but very little follow up and discipleship content in a culturally effective way. And so we made this uh, series, which uh, by the way, this is what I referred to this morning when we started showing this after the Jesus film, the response rate went up 40, 45% because people culturally relate to the issues that you see presented here that they're dealing with. One of the problems in Africa, a lot of people make professions of faith, but they're still going to uh, uh, traditional doctors and healers and wearing amulets and this kind of a thing. So that's a big issue. Another issue is polygamy. So we deal with that in this uh, film. But part of the reason I show it is just to remind us that we need to be thinking about a comprehensive strategy. Sometimes people ask me, why do you think the Jesus film has continued for 35 years? Frankly, it's because certainly it's the Word of God, it's in heart languages, but I believe there's another reason that people don't think about, and that is that it was always tied to a comprehensive strategy that involved follow-up and discipleship and church planning. It wasn't just saying, hey, we're gonna go out and show a film and isn't that exciting? But it was part of an integral part of an ongoing strategy to train and mobilize people and see a continuity and sustainability. So that would be the challenge that I'd like to leave with you today. When you think about making a film, you need to think about what's the end goal? What is it that you're trying to accomplish for the kingdom that will have sustainable results and really see movements take place? Now in the digital world today, we can take advantage of a lot of things. We just did an Easter campaign with My Last Day, which is this Japanese anime, and we put it in the context where when people respond, it takes them further and further into additional follow-up and discipleship and then through emails and through social media connecting with other people. So trying to think about it from a whole comprehensive view I think is important. The other thing, and I've been really, my role has been more of an executive producer, which means I gotta find the money and think of the strategies. And I find that mostly donors are not real interested in paying just for a film. What they're interested in is paying for the end result. And so if you have a clear cause concept, we call it, what's your cause concept? What is it that you're trying to accomplish for the kingdom and how does your film fit into that? That's where we've gotten the greatest traction for being able to raise money for films. Because I find many donors are pretty allergic to say, oh, we wanna make another film. But if you can say, how does my film going to help accomplish specific advances for God's kingdom that will really make a difference for all eternity. I'll stop there. Any questions that any of you have along this line?